So it says here we're supposed to preview the Pennsylvania Derby car. Do we have to? I guess we got to. Like these, these are million dollar grade one races. Uh, first thought on the Pennsylvania Derby: big field, very very low quality for a million dollar grade one. We got a nine to five favorite in Dragoon Guard, who has never run higher than a ninety one buyer. So I don't know where all the the other three year olds are that could have been favored in this race. Now to be fair, he has looked better than those figures suggest in those races, but he was also winning the Indiana Derby and the West Virginia Derby. This is supposed to be a step up from that. I, I, I guess like the, honestly, the morning line is like a little faulty, I think, because unmatched wisdom is eight to one. Like in what universe is that horse going to be eight to one for Chad Brown? Um, just looking through the, the rest of the field, like no other real big name sees the gray is the only other one that might attract some attention just based on name recognition. Right. Stronghold is somehow five to two on the outside for Phil Damata. I just, this morning line makes no sense to me. To me, the bigger headliner obviously is Torpedo Anna in the cotillion. Now she's four to five morning line. She's going to be one to 20 in this race. <laughs> like if there were ever a horse to make one to five morning line, like she, I, I, I'm assuming they won't allow show wagering in that race because this is going to be the bridge jump of all bridge jump right. opportunities here. If that's your jam. Um, she's obviously the star of the show on Saturday. Uh, John, you have some thoughts? Well, I, I thought it was. There's no DJ stable horses, I don't think. No, no, no. no. We're, we're not, <laughs> you you got to talk about somebody else. Even for a million dollars, we still wouldn't wouldn't uh, you know ride <laughs> run horses at parks. Um, but that but that being said, yeah, it, it's the Torpedo Anna show, and and we're just all kind of there to to watch. And you know, she could bounce by. 20, 25 points uh, buyer numbers and still win this race, um, you know, it, it handily. Um, I thought it was interesting that even there was an article that said, um, you know, eight take on Torpedo Anna. And, 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 and that was, you know, that's like the, the big, the big article that there were eight horses that were brave enough. Actually, there were nine horses that were brave enough and Parks refused entry on a horse in the cotillion by the name of Molly Malone, who lost 12 races of 14 by an, and she lost those races by an average of 12 and a half lengths. And that doesn't include Joe does not include a race that she was eased. So parks to their credit actually said, Meh, we're not going to accept this, um, this entry of Molly Malone, they did something also. Uh, they, they refused an entry for uh, Carrie Grant, uh, who's a horse that was going to run in the PA Derby. He was still a maiden. And, uh, and, and they refused the entry on both because the owner was quoted as saying he was motivated to run the horses in their respective races because even last place finishes would net out about $19,000. So his thought was, hey, this is a good business investment. Instead of breezing the horse in the morning, I'll run it in the afternoon. And as long as it beats the ambulance to the finish line, I'll get 19 grand. Um, not exactly the way that I would look at it. Uh, you know, we've seen horses that have run, um, you know, in races and, you know, not only have been eased, but have been in very critical um, scenarios because they're they don't know they're trying to keep up with the rest of the pack um, and that's their instinct and if they can't they push themselves too far it doesn't happen often but it does happen so in that case kudos to, to parks for refusing entries um, on those two horses now that being said they also could have done the same thing with the greenwood cup otherwise known as next next race um, because quite frankly he's going to be one to 20 in that race. And Joe, when I tell you that there are nine horses competing as next, I use that very liberally when I say competing, because really there's only three horses in here that can even give them a sniff of what's going on. Uh, Magic Michael, uh, D Dave Vernon and riding with Biden. The other horses in the race, you have a New Jersey bred mare. Um, that's a sprinter. Um, treble cleft that hasn't won, you know, hasn't run, excuse me, since July, hasn't won since May. Um, there's a $10,000 claimer. There's a horse, my imagination that hasn't run in six months and uh, modern era who has one win in 21 starts. And then Saigu starred the outside horse who Joe in July 1st for a whopping $5,000, you could have claimed them out of a, out of a claiming race at parks and his last race, you know, when they ran him uh, in this prep, he was quote unquote, always outrun at 40 to one and lost by 14 lines. So good for parks for not accepting the, blatant obvious only because the owner said yeah of course i'm going to run this race because i can get nineteen thousand dollars but they let nine horses run against next of which really you know other than save three maybe four of them um you know wouldn't even be favorites in a fifteen sixteen thousand dollar claiming race yeah i mean this is it's a there's a, there's a push and pull thing for me because I can't sit up here and complain about the short fields and then also say like look at all these bum horses that are in this race 
Second still pays. So I, I, I and I want to separate that from what you're saying, which I totally agree with that. Like if someone's stupid enough to say out loud, I'm running this horse knowing they're going to run last just because I'm going to cash that check for right. 19 grand. Yep. Then yes, their, their, their entries should be banned. You know, I, Luch was kind of like, he that. Was I remember that. Luch would like, he, like he that. would always run these like overmatched horses in these races and like, right. Then he, you know, he pops up and wins one every once well, that, in a while. He's like, see, that see. was the problem. Yeah. Luch wasn't stupid enough to Luch wasn't dumb enough to say out loud. Right. I know my horse, horse is going to get his head beat in, and I'm going to do it anyway. So right. yeah, I mean that's kudos to them do, for, do you, for. Do you mean to, uh, uh, alleged inmate number one five three four eight? Is that who you're referring to? <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going, no. please. Go with your rant. Yes. Until you've walked a mile in a man's <laughs> shoes. Right. That's Who right. are you? But yes, but Parks needed to have the. I, I, and again, maybe it's from a legal standpoint that they 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 don't have the ability to to um you know to, to disregard entries um unless somebody else says oh yeah I'm only I know I'm running last and that's why I'm doing this I, I just don't yeah. I understand it but I would love to see whether or not the Greenwood Cup goes from a Grade Three to a listed stake next year. Um, even if next wins and then next wins the the marathon, the Breeders' Cup marathon, I would love to see what the the rating is because if it's supposed to be on the totality of the entries for you know for for three or two consecutive years, you got to look at it and go unless a couple of these horses get scratched and don't actually run, um, their next races are going to be you know for for never win two lifetimes. Yeah, there's a couple other things. I I I. I don't want to sell power squeeze short. She's is in the cotillion. She's a nice horse. She just is not in the same ballpark as torpedo Anna. So I don't, I want to, I don't want to say it's all tomato cans running against her. Cause she's nice. Mystic Lake is okay. I will say the PA Derby is a good betting race quality wise. It's not that great for a million dollars, but it's a lot of cases to be made for a lot of horses in there. And on a card where it looks otherwise pretty, but pretty chalky with next and torpedo Anna. And I think the Phil D'Amato horse is going to be very, very tough in the gallant Bob. That's one race you could at least spread in and hope for a little chaos. Last thing I'll say about this card is I, I'm praying for those horses on, in the turf stakes. Like I, I just have am very naturally worried based on the reports of the turf course. It sounds like they've done a little bit of maintenance to, to make it better and safer. So I just hope we don't have any incidents on that grass course because, you know, that's that's obviously going to be, be a, a, a tragedy and a terrible look if we do. And uh, yeah, so, so hopefully everybody comes home safely from the grass race.